Well, Singapore's competition regulator has found that four Japanese ball bearing makers operated a cartel to fix prices here. They have been slapped with fines totaling $9.3 million. Now, it's the biggest penalty imposed by the Competition Commission of Singapore and the first time it has fined a foreign cartel. The four companies together make up approximately 60 to 70 percent of the ball bearing market in Singapore. And according to the Competition Commission of Singapore, they were competitors who met regularly in Japan and Singapore between 2006 to 2011 to collude on prices and protect profits, which means that businesses and companies in Singapore ended up paying higher prices. This is the first time the Commission has fined a foreign cartel, and also its first case involving manufactured goods like ball bearings. Because Singapore is such an open economy, uh, we have to be conscious of the fact that there may be cartelized products coming into Singapore. So we want to ensure that uh, we can enforce against anti-competitive agreements overseas that have an impact on Singapore. Nachi was fined about $7.5 million, NSK about $1.3 million, and NTN $456,000. However, Koyo escaped punishment, largely because of its role in bringing the case to light. Koyo was the first company to come forward with evidence of anti-competitive behavior, and under the Competition Commission's leniency program, Koyo was then granted full immunity from financial penalties, while the rest of the companies were fined to varying degrees. And the Competition Commission says imposing such penalties should not deter foreign investors from coming here. Rather, it should work towards promoting and ensuring a competitive business environment. And that's a sentiment echoed by others. Investors who see this as a positive thing that uh, when they come to Singapore, they are going to play a fair game. Uh, Everything is going to be fair. Uh, investors could ultimately be the intermediaries that were hurt by the uh, uh, colluders in the first place. And I don't think they want to be in a position. I think it's a good development uh, for the system, uh, for the economy. Following today's ruling, the companies involved have up to two months to pay their fines or file an appeal.